Using the MP3 player is very easy. We're going to look at the specification, how to wire it on a breadboard, how to install libraries you need in the Arduino IDE, how to prepare the micro SD card, how to solve problems you may run into with the MP3 player, and how to program it to play MP3 files stored on an SD card. Let's get started. The MP3TF16P player, also known as DF Player Mini, has many features. It supports MP3 and WAV files, micro SD card with a maximum capacity of 32GB formatted as FAT16 or FAT32, a built in 3 watt amplifier, you can arrange your files in folders, each one having as much as 1000 files, the volume has 30 levels, and there is an equalizer with 10 presets. Now let's look at the wiring with an Arduino Uno. If you're using an Arduino Nano, the wiring is exactly the same, including the pin numbers. The MP3 has no pin numbers on it. I will add them on the screen to help you follow me. Take note of the notch here to have a reference on the pin numbers I am going to show on screen. We only need to wire one side of the MP3 player, the left side. The speaker must be 3 watts or less. It's the maximum that the MP3 player can handle. Connect pin 1 on the MP3 player to the 5V pin on the Arduino. Connect pin 2 to one side of a 1 kilo ohm resistor. And connect the other side of the resistor to pin 11 on the Arduino. Connect pin 3 on the MP3 player to pin 10 on the Arduino. Connect pin 7 on the MP3 player to the ground pin on the Arduino. Pin 6 is connected to one terminal of the speaker and pin 8 on the other terminal of the speaker. Connect the speaker, I solder to the pond wire to my 2 watt speaker that I'm going to use for the demonstration. Now it's time to prepare the micro SD card. I found out that when formatting micro SD card with Windows, the MP3 player would sometimes not recognize them. So I used the SD card formatter software provided by Tuxera, and it corrected the problem. I have put the link in the video description. So I'm going to use this software to format my micro SD card, which is on my F drive. And it's 32 gigabyte in capacity, which is the maximum capacity supported by the MP3 player. I choose quick format on my F drive, which is where my micro SD card is connected, and it's very fast and now ready to be used. The next step is finding sounds to be used with the MP3 player. And since I am a Star Wars fan, I like the 101soundboards.com website, which contains a lot of free sounds. Now you can use any file that you want, as long as they are MP3 or WAV files. I have already copied many sound files on my micro SD card, and the order in which they were copied is important because the mp3 player will reference the file as number and not as file name. So first you have to sort your files by the date modified from the oldest to the newest. So this one, the r2d2-8, will be referenced as file number one or track number one for the mp3 player. And for example, this one, device mechanical, will be referenced as track number six, and so on. This is my setup on the breadboard. I am using a Nano. I like its small form factor. Here is a two watt speaker, the MP3 device with the micro SD card fully inserted. And we are now ready to set up the Arduino IDE for programming. For coding, I'm going to use the Arduino IDE version two, and if you're using version 1.8, just go to the Arduino ID website to download the latest version. And version 2 has uh, many more features over version 1.8. Make sure that you have an empty sketch, meaning a setup and a loop functions that are empty. And if you don't have an empty sketch, go to File and choose New Sketch, and you're going to get an empty sketch. Next, make sure that you have the right board selected. In my case, I have an Arduino Nano connected to the COM5 port. 
Now we have to make sure that we have the library for the MP3 player installed. So you go to uh, this icon, you click on it, it's the library manager. And in the search, you will type player mini. And you're going to see some libraries, but the one that needs to be installed is, is this one, the DF Robot DFP Player Mini. It's already installed on my computer. So if it's not installed on your site, click the install button to install it. We need to install another library available on my website. I've put the link in the video description. So you're going to reach uh, this website and you go to the lib folder and this other file, we need to download it. So you click the three dots here, download, and it's going to be downloaded in your download folder. So here it is. Now go to the sketch menu and choose show sketch folder so that we can copy the, the file that we just downloaded to uh, the sketch folder. So you just have, actually you just have to move it uh, into your sketch folder at the same level as your dot, dot .ino file. Let's make sure that the auto completion feature is activated in the Arduino IDE. So you go to file, preferences and you should have a check in the editor quick suggestions and if it's not in enable enable it and you click OK. Let's include the library we just downloaded by include and it's called mp3tf16p.h. Um, we have to initialize the object which is called mp3 player and we'll call it mp3 and we pass the pin numbers for the serial communication with the uh, mp3 device which has been 10 and 11. Uh, in the setup function we're going first to open the serial port so serial begin 9600 bode we're going to initialize the mp3 player by calling the initialize function and we're going to play a file by calling the play track number. And on my micro SD card, I have 24 files. So I will play file number 23. And the volume should be between zero, which is no sound, to the maximum volume, which is 30. So I'm going to put 30. Now let's upload the code and see what happens. So upload. If it's not working on your side, first make sure that the, the track number here is the right one. So, for example, if you have five songs on your micro SD card, five files, you need to make sure that this number is between one and five. And if it's still not working, let's do this next step. First, we're going to print the status of the MP3 player in the main loop by calling MP3 dot serial print status and we're going to use the mp3 all message directive so i'm going to play track number one because it's uh, shorter than track number 23 and let's upload the code and open the serial monitor So the song number one has played and it's now finished. Now this uh, function, the serial print status, allows us to see what is going on with the MP3 player uh, by having the code sending messages to the serial port. So for example, if I remove the SD card, it's detected. And if I insert it again, it's detected. Now here are, I have generated some errors by removing the power from the uh, 
MP3 player and I receive a timeout error. And you can receive uh, other kind of error messages. And the most common is this one. So when we initialize the MP3 player, you can have this kind of messages that are printed on your serial port. Uh, unable to begin, please recheck the connection, please insert the SD card, even though the SD card is inserted in, in the MP3 player. Now, if you still have problems with the MP3 player, here are some solutions. If you have compile errors, make sure that the library dfrobot is installed and make sure the header file is included in your code. Go back to the chapter in the video where I explain how to install these libraries. If you get error messages from the MP3 player on the serial port, make sure your wiring is good, make sure you don't have any loose DuPont wire on the breadboard, check the wiring of pin 10 and 11, maybe you reverse them. If you don't have any error messages and no sound is coming from the speaker, Make sure the file number that you pass to the function to play a song is correct. If you have 10 files on the SD card, you should have a number between 1 and 10. Check the speaker, test with another speaker if you have one. And finally, unplug and replug the USB port to force reset the MP3 player. So playing files on the MP3 player is very easy and you can play as many songs as you want. So let's say, for example, we define variables for our track. Let's say the R2, D2 track is number one, and the countdown track is number 23. I can reference here the variable for to play the R2, D2 track, and here the countdown track upload it and now the two files are playing in sequential order the play track number function waits the the song to finish so it waits the r2d2 track to finish and after that the countdown track is played now let's say that we want the built-in LED of the Arduino to blink during the playing of the countdown track. So what we can do, so first let's, let's remove the R2D2 track and define the pin mode of the built-in LED. So LED built-in, we'll define it as an output. And we're going to pass false as the third parameter of the play track number function which means which means that we don't want to wait that the countdown track has finished playing and we're going to do a while loop and while not the play is completed we're going to make the built-in led blink so first digital right on the LED built-in. We're going to first turn it on. We're going to add a delay, let's say, of 250 milliseconds. And we're going to turn it off after that. And add another delay. So what it's going to do is start playing the countdown track. And when the countdown track is playing, we're going to make the uh, built-in LED blink. So let's upload the code. So you see that the track is playing and the built-in LED is blinking. So you can do anything you want uh, in the while loop uh, while the uh, track is playing. So it's up to your imagination. Now you have access to all the functions in the DF robot library. So if you want to use them, 
let's remove this. Um, you have access to the library by calling the mp3 player and you have access to all the function let's say we want to uh, read the file count that we have on the sd card so i'm going to define a variable file count and we're going to print it on the serial port file count so we're going to see on the serial monitor how many files i have on my sd card so i have 25 files as the next step go check out my other videos on my channel i have a lot of videos on Arduino programming and don't hesitate to leave any comments if you have trouble working with the mp3 player I answer all the comments I receive on my channel. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.